from Midland, Odessa and Pittsburgh. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Now at 10, we've made it through another hot, hot day here in the basin, but that heat isn't going anywhere. Tomorrow, we can expect some serious and even dangerous triple-digit heat. And joining us now with a check in our forecast is ABC Big 2's Bridget Sarpong. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Rob. And you're right. Today was a hot, hot, hot day. I'm going to say it three times because we actually made it into our triple digits at 102 degrees for today. Usually around this time in July, we're definitely used to 96 degree temperatures. Now, a triple digit heat for today, 102, but usually around this time, 96. But hey, we will take what we can get because we are three degrees short of our record back in 1964 when we sat at a high of 105 degrees. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. Taking a look at our lows, we did come in, you know, pretty warm. 76 for our lows. Usually around this time, we're definitely used to 73 degree temperatures. A hot day in the area and we're going to continue to get even hotter. And I'll have more of that later on the show. Back over to you, Rob. Thank you so much, Bridget. Now to Yosemite National Park and the wildfire that has been burning for days. The fire dubbed the Washburn Fire is forcing parts of the park to close, and tonight it's threatening the park's famed giant sequoias. The fire is burning for more than two days, charring close to 1,000 acres, and tonight it is 0% contained. Triple-digit heat is complicating firefighting efforts. ABC's Will Carr has more on this firefight. Parts of one of America's most popular national parks on fire. For more than two days, more than a thousand acres have burned at Yosemite National Park. Mariposa Grove, the largest sequoia grove with over 500 trees, is threatened. Kind of heartbreaking. You feel afraid for the people in the town of Wawona, and then just heartbroken about the trees. Officials say none of the landmark sequoias, some more than 3,000 years old, have been destroyed by the fire. Planes dropping retardant from the air to contain the flames. On the ground, firefighters cutting lines. Looks uh, pretty scary, and I, we're going full force on our suppression tactics. Hundreds of people evacuated. It's terrible. I mean, every fire is scary, and our hearts go out to all the folks that had to been evacuated. But some choosing to stick it out, hoping the flames will pass through. Plan on staying here at the park for a few days. But I guess we'll see. Officials say the fire, which sparked Thursday at the historic park, was caused by dead and downed trees. It will take several weeks to put out. The park is temporarily closed. The cause under investigation. Will Carr, ABC News. And caught on camera tonight, passengers on a Spirit Airlines flight from Tampa to Atlanta had a frightening experience this morning. Video shows flames and smoke coming from underneath that Spirit Airlines flight 383 after it landed at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Now Spirit Airlines said a brake overheated during the landing, which sparked those flames. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Fire crews did knock down those flames soon after. And another scary scene this weekend, this time on the road, police are looking for a man caught on camera using bear spray against another driver. In the video, two men exchange words, then the man just starts spraying. All of this happened in a small neighborhood near Los Angeles, and police say when they catch that man, they'll charge him with assault and battery. Across Texas tonight, a murder suspect is wanted, and Lubbock police is asking the public for help finding this woman. Her name is Maria Rodriguez. She is 20 years old and about five feet tall. Lubbock's Metropolitan Special Crimes Unit said she left a 35-year-old man dead in the street this weekend and police say on Friday night they got a hit and run call. But it turns out there was no hit and run. Instead, investigators believe the victim jumped on the hood of the car after an argument with someone in the car. Police didn't say who exactly. At some point, the man fell off and died. It was at least 100 degrees today in Uvalde, but the temperature didn't stop hundreds of people from taking part in the Unheard Voices March and Rally. Families of the students and staff who lost their lives in the shooting at Robb Elementary School say they feel like they are being left in the dark about the shooting and the investigation. The march began at the school and ended with a rally about a mile away in the town square. Also across Texas tonight, some call it a sign of the times. Inflation is at a 40-year high and people need quick solutions to make ends meet. 
In Dallas, one pawn shop says what's happening inside their shop is an economic barometer of what's happening out in the world. ABC's Marky Martin is in Dallas tonight where pawn shops are seeing more items come in than they've ever seen before. It's Monday morning in East Dallas. P&J Pawn Shop has just opened its doors and already customers are streaming in. Patrick Wade has worked here for 34 years and now owns the place. Close to 100 chains, not quite 200 earrings. Every day I help people that don't have help normally. Lending a helping hand has forever been part of pawning. But in the last few months, Wade has watched the industry do a 180. In the past, pawning was a luxury for many of his customers. They do it just out of fun, so they can go either gamble or do something special for their loved one. With inflation at a 40-year high, most are now here out of necessity to make ends meet. How often are you coming here to this uh -huh. shop? <laughs> you see, I know everybody here. Patrice Ward has been loyal to P&J for 20 years. I'm hoping to just cover the gas that I need for my vehicle, um, maybe food, or whatever I need to get through until my payday. Times are hard, and Ward has four kids. Getting rid of a television opposed to not eating. And she's not alone. For A.J. Johnson, it was a watch he struggled to part with. The amount of money that I had to work with was so sufficient probably two years ago. But since then, things have gone topsy-turvy. According to the National Pawn Brokers Association, 30 million Americans are unbanked or underbanked. 20% don't have a bank account at all. If you don't have cash and you don't have a credit card, guess what? I'm the next best offer. And that was Marky Martin reporting. What's also increasing is the number of people unable to return and buy back those items they pawned. The owner tries to help those customers as much as possible. He says his shop is a direct reflection of the economy. And interestingly, he adds that he often knows before most others do when the eco economic tide is starting to turn. Now to an update tonight in the urgent investigation into the assassination of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The suspect was moved today from the police station where he was being held. Police are now releasing more details about how they say he prepared for this attack. And, tonight's, and tonight, Abe's party is making a strong showing in the country's elections just days after his killing. Here's ABC's Bob Woodruff from Tokyo for us tonight. Tonight, authorities in Japan say the suspect charged in the stunning assassination of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe planned the attack for months. Abe gunned down in broad daylight at a campaign event. Police say the suspected shooter, 41-year-old Tsutsuya Yamagami, seen here loitering before allegedly shooting Abe from behind, took a train to the event. And officials are now investigating whether he attended a speech by the 67-year-old Abe the day before the attack. Sources telling Japanese media the suspect test-fired the homemade gun in preparation for the murder. Investigators say that gun is about 15 inches long, capable of shooting six projectiles at a time, and was made from two metal pipes taped together, similar to a shotgun. Officials say they seized several more homemade guns from the suspect's apartment. Police say the suspected shooter confessed, telling investigators he killed Abe because he believed rumors about the former prime minister's association with a religious group he blamed for his mother's financial ruin. And that was Bob Woodruff reporting police acknowledge problems with Abe's security, so they are launching a task force to investigate. Meantime, the candidate Abe was campaigning for when he was shot won today's election. And we're gradually cooling down after a weekend full of triple-digit heat. But the heat is here to stay. How many triple-digit heat days will we get? Find out after the break. And the Rangers and Astros had chances to win their weekend series. Highlights from the Major League Diamond are straight ahead. Plus, a tennis legend continues to make history. We'll have more from Wimbledon right after this break. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Gorilla Super Glue. Brush for edge to edge coverage and nozzle for precise application all in one. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. We're
at your local weather authority. We warned you first. Our team is working around the clock to keep you and your family safe. What you need to know on ABC Big 2 News. From mitigating mice in Midland to tackling ticks in tall city and wiping out black widows in West Texas, no one knows Midland Odessa pests better than Fox. That's because Fox Pest Control is locally operated and dedicated to keeping our community pest free. We offer free inspections and same day service. Visit foxpestlocal.com for details. Fox Pest Control, local experts, killer results. Hi, my name is Dan Nicholas, owner of Roofs by Nicholas, located here in Midland, Texas. For over the last 30 years, we've been roofing tens of thousands of homes all throughout the entire Permian Basin. And I just wanted you to know that we are still here to serve you. We are the company that you can rely on when it comes to all your roofing needs. So if you have a hole in your roof or you need a whole new roof, give us a call. Roofs by Nicholas, the company that you rely on. Earn an associate degree in respiratory therapy from Midland College. This is a 20-month curriculum, 66 semester credit hours. This program prepares students for an allied health specialty that cares for patients with cardiopulmonary deficiencies. Suddenlink is becoming Optimum, and bit by bit, we're making big changes to reconnect with you. Like building Optimum Fiber, a new 100% fiber internet network and combining it with Optimum Mobile for complete connectivity. We're giving you more flexibility with no first bundles or annual contracts. And we're here for you with 24-7 support, with your satisfaction backed by a 60-day money-back guarantee. Little by little, progress adds up to something bigger. Reconnecting with you. Let's reconnect. weather authority forecast well friends it was a hot day it still is a hot day i said it twice and now i'm gonna say it three times three times it was a hot day and we actually sat in our triple digits at 102 degrees for today usually around this time in july we're definitely used to 96 degree temperatures now a hot day sitting in our triple digits but not as hot as how we are back in 1964 when we sat in our triple digits at 105 degrees so you know what three degrees short for today and we'll take it because it's still pretty hot even our lows came in hot for today sitting at 76 degrees around the time in july we're definitely used to 73 degree temperatures so three degrees warmer than usual now speaking of being warm the entire prairie basin is sat in you know close to their triple digits if not in their triple digits 102 degrees for the middle Desa area in big spring 103 in snyder 101 along with seminole and peck is sitting at 103 and then we do have wink and dryden tying for the highest today sitting at 104 degrees now not only did we see some heat but we also did see some rain now we begin seeing some of that rain uh, earlier today we're over in Pecos and now you know a little bit in Dryden and slowly making its way out of the Perry Mason area and not only that but we are in a heat advisory we're gonna continue to be in that heat advisory until tomorrow 7 p.m. Central Time in Crane, Ector, Ward, Wrinkler but also the middle of area Big Lake, Pecos, Carl but so really the entire viewing area is sitting under a heat advisory now tomorrow morning it's going to be a very mild morning just like today sitting at 77 our winds will be traveling northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour and we're going to start rising temperatures really quickly at by 8 a.m we'll be sitting at 78 then we get into noon that's when we actually hit our upper 90s sitting at 98 degrees and you know what we're going to continue to warm on up and i'm really excited because triple digit heat here we come by 5 p.m we will be sitting at 105 degrees a very hot kind of afternoon you know pretty similar to today but just two degrees warmer now a couple heat tips because we are going to remain in triple digit heat for you know the beginning half of the week do be sure to drink plenty of water apply sunscreen regularly while you are out and speaking of being out do be sure to take breaks frequent breaks in the shade because you're definitely going to need it being that we are going to be outdoors a lot because we are going to want to spend our time in the pool our tree grass dust 
in mold, sitting at a low level, and then our weeds are sitting little to none. Now, here goes that seven day forecast. Now, tomorrow we'll be sitting pretty hot, sitting at 105 degrees. And we get into Wednesday, cooling on down Thursday and Friday, if you want to call it that, by one degree, sitting at 99. Then we get into Saturday and Sunday back into our triple digit heat. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. The one thing I do want to tell you guys is do be sure to hydrate, wear your sunscreen, and you know, make the most of that sun while you can. I'm going to toss this heat on over to Avi. And now your ABC Big Two Sports. Well, both the Astros and the Rangers, they had close games over the weekend. Astros coming off a one-run loss. Rangers coming off a two-run win. Texas had a chance to sweep the visiting Twins. Meanwhile, Houston had, a, had to win today in order to avoid a series loss to the last place Oakland A's. So let's take you out to Oakland first inning, no score. Alex Bregman doing damage, hits a double in the gap off Cole Irvin. Jose Altuve, he'll be starting in the All-Star game. Astros take a 1-0 lead after Altuve scores. Jake Odorizzi starting for the Astros, getting Steven Piscotti down swinging in the second and the third. Nick Allen looking. Fourth inning, Ramon Laureano strikes out swing. Odorizzi goes seven scoreless innings and striking out seven. That's pretty good. Fifth inning, same score. Corey Lee, his first major league hit. That drives in a run. Oakland never really came close as Houston takes the game and the series. All right, Rangers and Twins, second inning. Rangers down three nothing. Bases loaded, two outs. Josh Smith, a clutch line drive double to clear the bases. And three runs scoring, a close play at the plate, but goes the Rangers' way. Tied at three. I really like those powder blue unis. Rangers down 6-4 in the eighth. Corey Seager fires the ball in and out of Gilberto Celestino's glove. That is going to be an aided homer, his 19th of the season. Off the glove of Celestino. Look away if you're a Twins fan, but... Texas, they trailed 6-5, and they had one on the ninth, but they failed to tie it, and they lose by a run. All right, the complete all-star rosters came out today. We already knew Jose Altuve would start at second base in Los Angeles. Here are the other all-stars from the Texas teams. In addition to Altuve, the Astros will send Framber Valdez and Justin Verlander from their pitching staff. Jordan Alvarez, who was just moved to the injured list, and Kyle Tucker, they will also represent Houston in the Midsummer Classic. Meanwhile, Martin Perez will be the lone player. He's had a great season, but he's the only going to be the only player representing the Texas Rangers at the All-Star game. And the Midland Rockhounds came into today riding a seven game winning streak and they extended the streak now to eight in a row with a 6-3 win. Hounds, they cranked four home runs today. They haven't lost since July 1st. Midland has continued to score at least five runs in every game of the streak. They are now 10-2, the best record in the Texas League since the start of the second half of the season. Hounds are back in action on Tuesday night in Frisco as they start their next series against the Rough Riders. And in tennis, Novak Djokovic defeated Nick Kyrgios in four sets. Excuse me, sorry, I mispronounced the name there. He wins his fourth consecutive Wimbledon championship and his seventh overall. After dropping the first set 4-6, he reeled off three straight 6-3, 6-4, and a 7-6 set to take the title. Djokovic is now the only, is, he's now only one Wimbledon title away from tying Roger Federer's record of eight. And the women's championship match at Wimbledon turned a bit dramatic too. Elena Ribokina made a stunning comeback after dropping the first set to claim her first Grand Slam title. ABC's Lama Hassan has more from London. Elena Rybakina making history as the first player representing Kazakhstan to win a Grand Slam, defeating opponents on Zhabor. In her Grand Slam final debut, Rybakina dropping the first set, but came roaring back with big serves to close out the next two. I never felt something like this, and uh, I just want to say big thanks to the crowd for the support. It was unbelievable. And the cherry on the top of the cake this tournament weekend. Liv Hovde winning the junior title at Wimbledon, becoming the second American to win the title at the girls' singles in the past 30 years. I was just hoping to do the best 
that I can and coming in as the one seed, I just tried to do my absolute best and gave it my all. All right, that does it for me in sports. Back over to you, Rob. Thank you so much, Avi. Up next tonight, a longtime mailman has spent his career dropping off gifts, packages, and surprises for families. Well, this mailman is getting a gift and surprise himself. That story when we come back. At West Tax Urgent Care, we were created with our patients in mind. We go above and beyond to ensure that you see a qualified provider in a timely manner and receive effective treatment. We're safe, we're open, and we care. You want to feel important, to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. We know. We felt that way, too. And that's why we joined the Army National Guard. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Mr. Rhodes! That was a little too close for anyone's comfort. The crosswalk stripes are sending you a message. Stop for pedestrians. Got it. And we'll all get where we're going safely. What makes best reviews the best reviews? Ooh, pretty colors. They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations. Oh, no, Count Bristol. We settle this dispute through dance. To give honest, reliable recommendations on just about any product you can imagine. So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you. Faster, Count Bristol, faster! Whatever you're into. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. A Culligan high-efficiency water softener saves money on salt, detergents, and cleaning supplies, and time spent cleaning. Get softer on your water and wallet. Culligan, the only water that comes with a van. Fueling our cars, our homes, and our local economy, gas, oil, and electricity are all powering the Permian. I'm Matt Fonz. Watch my reports every Wednesday night at 6 and 10. Watch Powering the Permian every Wednesday night on ABC Big 2 News. AMID is the Basin's first television station from 1953 until now and beyond. We're always first, always accurate, and always proud to call the Basin home. Watch ABC Big 2 News. Tonight, we're taking a look at some of the best online deals ahead of Amazon Prime Day, as a number of people try to make every penny count. Those sales have already started, and ABC's Deidre Bolton has been scouting out some of the best bargains. Some shoppers are getting ready to click on Amazon's Prime Day deals, only 48 hours away. They know that uh, people are out there shopping. The official sales extravaganza starts on Tuesday, and some Amazon brands will be up to 79% off. For example, a $49.99 Insignia 32-inch Fire TV, 72% off, and a $99.99 Amazon Fire 50-inch TV, 79% off. Many big brands will also be offering great deals on Amazon's platform. Keurig, Cephalon Cookware, American Girl Dolls, and toys, including offerings from Mattel, Fisher-Price, Lego, Star Wars, and Marvel. Experts say retailers, including Amazon, are very aware of consumers facing off against inflation at a 40-year high and are offering extra deals on essentials. Consumers are tightening their belts. I'm just going to be very heavy in back to school, clothing, pantry essentials, anything those, those shoppers need to stock up on but might not be able to otherwise afford due to inflation. For back to school, Elmer's, Sharpie, and Pilot products will all be discounted. Clothing will be reduced up to 40%, including items from Levi's and Champion. What's more, Amazon sets a tone that other retailers follow. Prime Day creates a lot of hype, so expect big box retailers like Kohl's and Target. Both have already announced sales, and expect really good deals with really short-term, big discounts on items that they need to offload. And you tonight at 10 o'clock for 40 years, neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of the night could keep a mailman from his appointed rounds. And now the community, the one that he serves, is showing him their gratitude. ABC's Lindsay Davis has this story. 
after decades of delivering. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm not worthy. Scott Arnold was finally on the receiving end, getting the surprise of his life from grateful postal customers on this, his last day on the job. When I turn the corner and there's like 125 people standing out in the middle of the road, it was like... I've never had a rush like that in my life. Have a good retirement. Have a good retirement. Yeah. You touched us all deeply. We Hi. love you, Scott. Yeah, we, we were going to miss you, Scott. Delivering mail for the U.S. Postal Service to 400 houses in the same McLean, Virginia neighborhood for nearly 40 years. Customers along his route posted all kinds of thank yous and farewell messages. The secret to his success? I had two mottos. One of them was, if you're happy, I'm happy. The other one was all only the best for the best. And he says his customers had a way of making his day better, too. Their waves and smiles kept me going. <laughs> his advice? <laughs> Just give it your best all the time that you're doing there, even if you don't like to sometimes. Thank you all. And somewhere along the road, he started to see the people on his delivery route as much more than that. You're all family to me, and you'll always be in my heart. I will never forget this day. Never. And up next, we honor the employee who spent more than two decades at a local hospital, working every day with a smile. Meet this local man we're calling our next hometown hero. And as we head to break, a reminder that if you see news happening, share your videos and photos on social media with us. Make sure you use the hashtag ABCBig2News. And if you haven't done it yet, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We are ABCBig2News. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. Celebrate your freedom in style and say big during the extended July 4th sale at Furniture Row. Right now, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get five years no interest financing. But hurry, the extended July 4th sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Do you know the fastest growing cable news network in America? I'll give you a hint. It's News Nation. We're new and we're different. You're looking for news without the noise? Come back to the news the way it used to be. News Nation. News for all America. This glorious Whataburger is yours. A few minutes ago, it didn't even exist. Why? Because every Whataburger is 100% fresh beef and made to order. That means we didn't start cooking it until this exact moment right here. When you ordered it into existence. Whataburger, just like you like it. Hey guys, it's that time of year again. We are soft and ready to serve you at our new location. Schedule your fitting today for the best custom experience in West Texas. Introducing custom putter fitting from Adele. And don't let lead times get you. We now have custom components from every major vendor. Celebrate the freedom of a great night's sleep during the extended July 4th sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or check out the Summit Firm for only $299.99. Plus, five years no interest and free shipping. The extended July 4th sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. Tonight, we're taking a small moment to honor a local hometown hero. Over at Midland Memorial Hospital, we got the chance to meet an employee who's been with the hospital for more than 25 years. Efren Barundam is a floor care technician in the Environmental Services Department. Efren has cleaned and waxed every inch of the floors in the hospital. And you might say he knows the facility better than anyone else. Efren takes great pride in his work and his colleagues say he is dedicated and hardworking. His attitude is pleasant. Efren never complains. And on behalf of our partner, Carpet Tech, we helped award Efren a floor care cleaning service for his home. The gift is a little ironic, but it surely is heartfelt. 
when you're an incredible asset to the minimum moral cost. And because of that, we just want to recognize you for the work that you do. Staff and visitors always notice when a section of the floor is bright and glossy from the work he has done. Ephraim asked not to speak on camera, but we did speak with his colleague. Ephraim, they said that you know every square inch of this hospital better than anyone else. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> Especially after the last two years or so with COVID. Um, and he's a blessing for the hospital. Um, he does a tremendous job. Um, he comes on time. He's a self-starter. Um, and trust me, and when it comes to floor care, um, our, our hospital stays beautiful because of him. And the hospital said Ephraim is an unsung hero to us. And here at ABC Big 2, we are happy to give him this honor. We'll be right back. They last. You can take your choice of these two distinctive solid hardwood bedrooms. Constructed from reclaimed hardwoods. All five pieces, $19.97. And I'm giving you the $400 mattress free at Bob Mills. Ready, <laughs> set, pull! The final straw is a game of gravity versus greed. This show's crazy, right? Let's go. The final straw premieres tonight on ABC. At Priority ER Care, our luxurious setting is run by dual board certified emergency and family medicine physicians. We treat our patients like family. At Priority ER Care, we've seen it all, we do it fast. If your floors look like this, then it's time to call West Texas Commercial Cleaning. Using one of the most advanced floor cleaners available, they'll make your floors shine. West Texas Commercial Cleaning, let us bring your floors back to life. At USAA, we've been called too exclusive, because we only serve those who honorably serve. All ranks, all branches, and their eligible family members. Yep, that is exclusive, and we're fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Gorilla Super Glue. Brush for edge-to-edge -edge coverage and nozzle for precise application all in one for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. From honey to skin products to pollination, bees are important. They are a keystone species in the ecosystem. What's being done to protect them? Find out Monday night at 10 on ABC Big 2 News. While others refurnish their home, you waited. That's okay. But while they last, I'm taking a thousand off the cowboy reclining sofa and love seat. Plus, I'm giving you the eight hundred dollar matching recliner free and sixty months to pay. Well, before we take one, let's look at that seven day forecast. Just so that you and I both know, we have a heat advisory all the way up until tomorrow around 7 p.m. Central Time in Crane, Ector, Ward, and in Winkler, along with Pecos, Fort Stockton, Dryden, really the entire Permian Basin and West Texas. Tomorrow morning, we are going to be sitting in our upper 70s at 77, very mild kind of morning. And the winds are going to be front and center, traveling northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. We're going to go all the way up to 78 and then we're going to hit you know 98 warming up and then by the time we get to 5 p.m we actually will make it into our triple digit which is what our 7 day forecast is going to show that we are going to sit at a nice and steamy 105 degrees it's going to be hot and then Tuesday is going to be even hot as well, 102. You know, we start to decrease, if you want to call it that, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Only by, you know, a couple of degrees, we still are going to be in our upper 90s at 99 degrees exact. And then, you know, we got similar to this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we'll be sitting back in the triple digits. You know, Rob and Avi, the heat is here to stay. It's not going anywhere, and it's going to come back next weekend in the triple digits. Well, I'm thinking for the next week, cold showers only. Is that the way to go? Yeah. I'm for you, here. not for me. <laughs> Still going to be showering the heat. When's that coming? Yeah. Hot showers, a nice steamy weather outside. I mean, the sun's a good thing, of course. Uh, it is, yes. Uh, unless it's 105 degrees outside. <laughs> for you, for me, I'm excited. I have a day off tomorrow and Tuesday, so I'm ready to soak in Absolutely. the sun. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have. Good night.